This video is meant to stress the importance of doing a proper and thorough inspection of the flight control cables. Also, it will provide guidance on how to detect the various forms of control cable deterioration. However, this video is not all-inclusive and the applicable service or maintenance manual should be consulted. To properly inspect the control cables, all sections of the cable must be inspected and this includes the sections of the cables hidden behind structure, pulleys, or interior furnishings. Take the time to remove what is necessary to gain adequate clearance for a thorough inspection of the control cables. Most control cable deterioration can be found by visual means. Use of inspection mirrors, flashlights, and a cloth make this job easier. Critical areas for wire breakage are those sections of cable which pass through fair leads, across rub blocks, and around pulleys. Pay careful attention to these critical areas. Examine cables for broken wires by passing a cloth along the length of the cable. The cloth will snag on broken wires. Some broken wires cannot be detected by running a cloth over them, particularly in the critical areas, and it will be necessary to remove the cable and bend it in a loop to expose any broken wires. Wire breakage criteria can be found in the appropriate service or maintenance manual. Generally, broken wires at random locations are acceptable in the primary and secondary control cables when there are no more than six broken wires in any 10-inch cable length. Inspect cables for flat spots or areas where the cable twist is unwrapping and any condition in which the cable is distorted. There are no acceptable criteria for this type of deterioration and the cable must be replaced. Cable corrosion can be recognized by the presence of rust on the cable. If this corrosion is found, the cable should be removed and inspected for internal corrosion by carefully forcing the cable open by reverse twisting and visually inspect the interior. Corrosion on interior strands of the cable constitutes failure and the cable must be replaced. If no internal corrosion is found, clean the external corrosion and lubricate the cable. New cable is lubricated during manufacture and should not be cleaned with solvent. If the cable appears dry, the lubrication has probably oxidized and should be treated with the light coat of lubricant such as LPS2 or WD-40. Refer to the appropriate service or maintenance manual. Apply the lubricant with a cloth and coat the cable with a thin layer. Note that excessive lubricant will collect dust and can be as damaging to the cable as no lubrication at all. This concludes this video.